This is Cadbury. He is modeling our cross tie loops here. What I like to do when I've got a horse that I put in cross ties is I put in a little baling twine loop on either side of the cheek and I connect my cross tie to that. The reason for that is if for whatever reason he were to set back or even just toss his head really hard and you know if something scared him and he pulled back what would happen is that the little piece of baling twine would break before anything else would. So I like to leave the lead ropes on them so that if he does happen to break loose, I've got the lead rope, I can grab that, and I don't have a completely free wild roaming horse. But now the reason I put them on the halter is if again he does set back and that puts tension on here, if we're here and it pops, it just, the strap just drops down. You know, it flies back towards the post. If I were to have this safety release here, as he pulls back, when it breaks at that point, it would actually, could potentially fly back and hit him in the face. So you'll see some people that have a safety release here when a certain amount of pressure is applied, but I really don't like it there because of the kickback from the strap when it does break. So that's why I like it here, because when he, if he does pull back and he breaks this, there's nothing that's going to come back at his face and hurt him. 